When you lie or sit still in one position and do not move, pressure can stop the blood getting to the skin surface. This is like bending a hosepipe, stopping water getting through, and it's the same for the blood in our blood vessels. When blood is unable to get to the skin to provide oxygen and nutrients, skin can become sore or can break down into a wound. This wound is called a pressure ulcer. Pressure ulcers usually happen over a bone that is protruding, sticking out. For example, the bottom part of the spine, elbows, heels, the bony part of our buttocks, or on the back of the head. Pressure ulcers can also happen if a piece of equipment is pressed on an area of skin for a period of time which stops the blood getting to the skin surface. For example, an oxygen mask. As well as pressure ulcers occurring because of pressure when we slouch down in the bed or in the chair, this can cause the skeleton to rub the tissues inside the body and sometimes this can damage tissues below the skin and can cause pressure damage. To avoid this happening, nursing staff may use glide sheets underneath you to gently move you up the bed if you have slipped down or they will make sure the chair is the right height for you. You are more at risk of getting a pressure ulcer if you cannot move yourself from side to side in the bed or stand up independently to relieve the pressure. This could be because of your illness or a medical condition you may have. When you come into hospital, the nurses complete an assessment to decide how at risk they think you are of developing a pressure ulcer. What the nursing staff put in place to help minimise the likelihood of you getting a pressure ulcer will depend on your level of risk. If the nursing staff think you are at risk of getting a pressure ulcer, a special air mattress that ripples might be put in place for you to lie on or the nursing staff may visit you regularly and change your position for you if you cannot reposition yourself. There are some inflatable boots the nurse may place your feet in to protect your heels from getting sore or they may apply a pillow under your legs to lift your heels away from the mattress to stop any pressure. The key thing to remember is if you are able to move yourself regularly and safely then continue to do so. Lifting your feet up from the mattress, moving yourself from side to side in the bed or standing up from the chair every couple of hours will relieve the pressure and ensure blood can flow to the skin to give it oxygen and nutrients. If a pressure sore is found the nursing staff will make sure the correct dressings are applied to help heal your wound. They may ask your permission to take a photograph of your wound to refer to if necessary. The nursing staff will continue repositioning you to check all vulnerable areas of your skin and to give your pressure sore a chance to heal pressure free. If you have any concerns please ask any of the nursing or medical staff.